mit Nick. Okay, Volt 101. Hello? Hello? Let's solve your problems. You darn buggers. Okay. okay, shotgun is on standby. Learn what happened to Volt 101. Well, either everyone died or about to die. Either way, it's going to be fun. Roaches. Cockroaches. Stealth boy. Come here, boy. I need to light this party up. I say. Jim, no, you had. Why did you have to die, Jim? Why? Okay, I will give you a proper burial there. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but. What do you mean? Hold on. Wait a yeah. minute. Yeah, hello. It's you. Yep. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Um, what? Where the hell is Amata? So help me if you're if you've hurt her. Blah blah blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down there. Amata's not in any danger. I mean, we're all in a sort of a rough patch, but we've weathered worse. But sorry to say, if you're back, there's going to be trouble with some folks. And if Amada's wrapped up in it, there'll be trouble for her too. I mean, I just had a hunch she was in trouble. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. What sort of trouble do you mean, mate? Let me bring you up to speed. Yep. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. It's okay, mate. It's okay. Oh, darn it. Well, that was never supposed to happen. It was the overseer's fault. Really? Well, that would explain a few things, all right? It's a good thing you're here after all. After that night, a lot of your friends started thinking, if it's safe to go outside, why stay down here forever? And that's not the sort of thing the Overseer likes to hear. Things have gotten pretty tense. So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Can you lead me somewhere? I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Amato. Okay. Follow me. Go, go, go. And remember, I have a flaming sword aiming through your, to your arse. I won't try any funny business if you know what I'm saying. Hmm. Right, I'll have a shotgun aiming through your head. But actually I might click it, so I'll just hide it. Oh dear. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You gonna lock me up like you did the brotch? You can't cage a. T Stay out of this. Why don't don't you know enough to stay away? You almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. 
I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about those rebels, man. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Don't you know enough to stay away? What do you want? Let me go. Yes, you do. Yeah, I know I do. Stop shooting, damn it! Where's this door? Leads upstairs. Cares about upstairs right now. What the hell is that? Is that the overseer? I think it is. Hmm. Hey, that's where my birth party was. Um, yeah. I miss that place. Oh dear. Damn! Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What made you think I came back to help you? Because you're a goody two-shoes, right? You get off on helping people in trouble. Isn't that why you saved my mom? I bet she'd thank you herself, but she and I ain't exactly on speaking terms at the moment. At least, not when she's sober. But I tell you, your old man had the right idea. I can't stand it down here anymore. You gotta help me get out. Well... Uh... Why do you need to get out of here so badly, man? Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Nope. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. What are you doing, the vault, man? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. <laughs> Can you give me a haircut? Sure, fine. Whatever. <laughs> well, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Amazing. Freaking hell. I, I actually never saw that. Amazing. Wow. Holy crap. So what are you going to do outside, mate? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? I'm ready, Tunnel Snake. You gave me the jacket and everything. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who wanna join. Competition's gonna be tough. Hmm. Mm. What happened that night, man? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Yeah, I guess. I'll be going Catch now, you later. Mate. Maybe. Yeah. Please, yeah. Don't wanna be up. Yeah. Oh my god, you're back! Wow! You got my message and actually came back! Yes! Woohoo! That's so exciting, man! Right. Just happened to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'll drop by, you know? I missed your sense of humor, but I really don't think this is the time for jokes. We're in real trouble. And your help could make all the difference. So could you please take this seriously? For me? Uh, okay. She did kinda saved my life. I mean, she did woke me up and she helped me a little bit. Okay. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! 
I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. Duh. That explains why I found an old Volt 101 suit outside. An old Volt 101 suit. Right, I didn't read it right. That explains why I found an old Volt 101 suit outside. That almost sounded the same. I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world. Blank, 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 what? <laughs> Holy crap, I don't even know what I just said there. Amazing. Woo! Sounds like he's gone crazy with power and needs to be stopped. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. Why is the overseeing doing dicks? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. By the way, if you haven't noticed what I just said before she answered that, you can go like a few seconds back and hear what I said. I actually did not say it. I didn't read it correctly, but whatever. Okay. The more I hear, the less I want to be involved in all this. I'm leaving forever. Now, why don't you just leave? There's not much security. Don't you get it? We nope. don't want to abandon the vault. Oh. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home. But we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. Okay. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Well. This means I'm gonna kick everyone's arse. Punch everyone's faces. And she wouldn't like that, probably. I mean, I wouldn't like my... Whatever. You need... <laughs> You need to understand their side and why you should stay here. Uh, actually, you know what, whatever. You will? Yeah. Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just, please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? Eh, uh, you know violence isn't my style, Amada. Lies. They should, like, put a, in quotes, lie mode, and then, uh, sorry, not promising anything, he'll be stopped one way or another. But he's still my father. He may have made terrible choices that night, but he's the same person who's always looked out for us before then. Maybe he has some reason. Just please don't kill him. We've already had too many deaths. Ah. <sighs> Freddy Gomez. Hey, good to see you again. You know why he's holding his thingy there? He peed himself. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is gonna turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to change your pants first, Later. Mate. And we all know why you hold your hands down there. Wait, what is this? Do I need her? I hope you're making progress with my father. Uh, whatever. Okay, what is this place? It's a door, Mad Neck. It's a freaking door. It's a door with nothing behind it. Uh, Classroom. Wow, that's where I took the goat. <gasps> ah.
I want to drink water. Yes. <laughs> HP with no reds. Oh yes, the best water in the world. Man, I sure wish we could blow this joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just keep yapping. Reactor, upper level. Yes, we're going to the upper level, aren't we? To see the overseer. Hello? Can you see an overseer? Are you here? Operations. Is anyone in this joint? Overseer! Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Oh, crazy. You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas. I assume you're talking about the unpleasantness when you left? Yes? Jonas and your father were endangering the future success of this vault and the safety of its residents. Yep. I did what I had to do to keep them from destroying all we had achieved here. I only wish I could have prevented it from happening at all. Don't try to justify your murders and lies. There were never a tra there were never threats, man. Yeah. Spoken like someone who's never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Are you joking? Jonas me? was leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then, our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. You're protecting your people, you're destroying them, can't you see that? I'm afraid you're the short-sighted one here. I'm simply keeping them safe and untouched by the war above. The real danger are the rebels and insurgents who insist on risking all of our lives just to die out there in the wastes. If they weren't trying to throw our lives away like that, we could go back to the peaceful life we once had. Everyone would be happy again. Hmm... Okay, okay. The rebel are upset because you lied to them about the outside, mate. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. Hmm, I believe I have solution. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Rebels are right. Uh, you need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Wow, speech 100%, amazing. You simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. No? Yeah? I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little, but we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Hmm, humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope. Even now, man. Come on. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Hey...
Did you smell that, guys? Yep, I smelled it, man. And no, I haven't farted. That was actually the smell of victory. Oh, yes. I killed him so many times. Because I was so pissed off. Uh, well, I wasn't really pissed off. I just didn't care about how it's gonna end. And I just wanted to kill him, basically. Yeah. Uh, where do I go? Ah! I am confused. Oh. Of course I am. It's right here. Right behind the corner. Hello, Butch. Almost called him something else there. You're alive! So, what? Sorry. Later. Um, yeah. Wrong, wrong, wrong floor. Sorry, ma'am. Um, yeah. What? Freaking hell, I'm running in circles here. There she is. I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. Yep. Um, that awesome girl. Mm -hmm. I just had a little talk with him and explained a few things. Oh, quite civil. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? Mm. As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. Oh, it's a FPS bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. What is it? There are still so many things to repair, and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. <sighs> I saved the vault, and now you're kicking me out. This one is a huge, major, freaking, amazing, well, not amazing, but freaking huge, gigantic, astronomical reference to Fallout 1. When you save the vault at Fallout 1, the Overseer kicks you out. Yeah. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. Modified utility jumpsuit. What is this modified utility jumpsuit? Luck plus one, repair plus one, red. I don't need that. Thank you, you can keep that. Keep your shite to yourself, woman. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Over here? Amata? Everyone? Oh. Listen closely. <laughs> Only now you announce After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost. But perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if Bored. I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain. Now how the hell do I get out of here? Uh, right from there, man. Right from there. Uh, from here? Nope. Through the kitchen. Yeah, nopsy daisy. Right, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna save. It won't automatically save, whatever. And next episode, we're going. Oh, thank you. Um. <laughs> okay, next up is... Oh crap, I need to press something, don't I? Uh, 
What the hell? Ton of slay, cruel. Oh, by the way, there's freaking... Oh, yeah, that's the exit, actually. There's an amazing song named Tunnel Snake Rule. Uh, you should search it on YouTube. Tunnel Snake Rule Remix. Something. That's amazing. Oh. You know what? What is my next quest, to be honest? The challenge? Nah, I'll do it one day, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah. Let me just get there, you know, just get ready for it. Oh, that was loud. Uh, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it so far, and I hope you will join me at the next parts. Next parts, we're gonna talk to these guys, we're gonna get to Vault 87, and hopefully get the gag. That's the main thingy for me right now. Oh, you again? But, I told you uh, to get lost! I got your friends back. Can I come in now? I guess you're okay after all, Mungo. You can come in, but you better not piss me off. Okay, so I'm in to the lamplight place, and I need to get to Vault 87. This thing we will do next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!